While the Roadshow Kitchen is being done over, KCCNE are kind enough to let us come and hang out, make some great food in the uh, in this kitchen today. Uh, Lauren joins us from Cleos, and we have a chocolate yogurt parfait. Yes. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Well, last time I came to visit you, I did a yogurt sauce. Right. You liked it so much, I thought we should do a yogurt dessert. Hey, let me tell you, you're going to mix chocolate in that. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, so is this something you that you guys serve at, at the restaurant? We do. Yep. Okay. It's on our dessert menu. So we'll, we will make a chocolate ganache mm -hmm. with our chocolate chips and cream. Okay. Um, and then we'll fold that into the yogurt that we're going to whip with a little bit of honey. And then we're going to layer that with some cherry spoon sweets, which is a Greek, um, like a candied sour Oof. cherry. We'll mix that up with some Grand Marnier. Mm -hmm. And then we'll layer that in with some pistachios. This is all fat free, right? It is. It's actually a healthy dessert. <laughs> is that's, it real? Okay. Yeah, that's what all I tell right. people. You know, it has pistachios and Greek yogurt. Sure. Um, my kids love it, similar to like a chocolate pudding, but right. a lot healthier. Now, now these here, just a basic uh, small, these are re really the tiny, like semi sweet yeah. morsels, right? Yep, which okay. is just a little bit easier to make a ganache. So we'll just mix that with the cream, get it, you know, nice and warm so right. it combines and becomes kind of a, a nice chocolate sauce to fold into our yogurt. And anybody who's looking and seeing the alcohol there, don't worry about it. It's all going to burn off. It's all going to burn. Yeah. It's all going to burn off anyway. And the yogurt itself, is this a, a Greek yogurt you're using, right? Greek yogurt. Yep. Okay. Full fat. Right. Which That's makes why it nice and creamy. Makes it a little thicker. Makes yeah. it a little thicker and easier to put the yeah, through. And if you were going to do this for a kid, I probably would just skip the Grand Marnier. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe not. Depends <laughs> on if you want them to go to sleep or not. <laughs> all right. So we're going to put this uh, put this recipe together. She says it's kind of healthy, too. It's healthy. So I'm just going to believe everything she says and take her word for it. We'll put it together. Give it a try. Back to you. Back in the kitchen at KCC and with Chef Lauren Lynch from Cleos. I love this idea of taking Greek yogurt and making it into a dessert. Yeah, you I've can never use had it. that before. It's it's delicious, and you can use Greek yogurt for a lot of things. I use it now with onion dip or things that that's how you had tried the you know the other day the black yeah. yogurt garlic dip and stuff like that. So yeah, where do we stand? I see you're here heating things. You up. can put our chocolate chips in here. Okay, all of them, or is this like all a gradual? Yep. So we're going. Whoop, we're going for a one-to-one uh, -one ratio of the chocolate chips to the heavy cream. Mm -hmm. And then we have that going over just the boiling pot of water to keep it kind of gentle. That way the chocolate doesn't seize up. Okay, um, that double boiler, that's really common when you're melting chocolate at home, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, because if the chocolate gets too hot, it can kind of clump up and it'll be ruined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a great tip for anyone trying to melt chocolate for any sort of recipe or even if you're dipping things in chocolate, do this yeah. technique. It'll kind of slow it down, but in a good way. Yes. And why heavy cream as opposed to, you know, just regular milk? Um, I think because of the fat content, okay. you know, it, that'll also help the chocolate be able to melt nice. And we're doing the one-to-one -one ratio because we're going to be folding it into the yogurt, so we don't want it to be too thick. Because once you chilled it, it might kind of solidify and make the yogurt a little too thick. Okay, and because we're folding them, is this going to taste like a like a mousse or like a pudding? Or? Yeah, it definitely, we want to whip up the yogurt a little bit with some mm -hmm. honey and get kind of some air in there. You could even um, use a mixer. Okay. You know, like a stand mixer or something yeah. to yeah, kind of get that mousse-like quality. You yeah, get nice. nice and light and fluffy. Yeah. And look how quickly even the color yeah. changes in the pot. That's a sign that it they are they're starting to form. It's yeah, it's coming together nice. And man, does the kitchen smell great! Yeah. All right, we've got uh, delicious melted chocolate here. We're going to show you how it becomes a Greek dessert in just a bit. While the Roadshow Kitchen is being done over, we are here at KCCNE, and we have Lauren Lynch here from Klaus, and we've got a chocolate uh, chocolate parfait mm, that yeah. we're making with some yogurt. That's what's going to really hold it together, make that so pudding taste to it. So, yeah, looks good. On the uh, break, we had whipped the yogurt with a little bit of honey, mm -hmm. which helps to sweeten it. Honey, a big uh, you know sweetener in Greece, and we had made our chocolate ganache. So we're going to get a little bit of this in here. Whoa! Yeah, and then we're going to mix that up. Come stir all that chocolate in. Stir all that in. Get it nice and chocolatey. We can add a little more probably right. also. Yeah. But good tip to do this gradually. Gra yeah, so we don't wind up with too much. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
Look at how good that is. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> and like I said, it, it does have chocolate, it does yep. have sugar, mm -hmm. but it is, you know, healthier than a traditional, you know, maybe pudding or something like that because there's a lot of protein in that yogurt. Um, a lot of different nutrients, and the honey. And the yogurt so. you always bring in tastes so good. Yeah. It blows other Greek right. yogurt it out really of the does. Water. If you have other yogurt, not, nothing's like this Greek yogurt. Yeah, it's really nice and rich and delicious. So you can use it in place of a sour cream or mayonnaise or anything like mm -hmm. that, different recipes. So, nice, healthy way to eat something creamy. And this is on the this is on the menu at the restaurant as one of the dessert things that yes, you folks have, right? Yes, one of, yep, one of our desserts. I'm just gonna put a little bit more, and that should do it. Okay. And once we mix this, um, I don't know if you wanna maybe put a little splash of that Grand Marnier, okay. which is nice, and with the cherries. Mm -hmm. And you can just mix that up with a spoon. And we're gonna layer that. And even the cherries, they were like these sour cherries that you brought. Yeah, so are those from Greece too? They are, yeah, and you can get those at like a Middle Eastern market. I know Sonia's has them um, right. in Cranston, and they do that with a lot of fruits. So that was a traditional way to preserve fruits. Oh, wow. So yeah, they they almost candy them, but yeah. they're they're I think delicious. So we'll do a little bit of this chocolate yogurt, and then you can put. A little bit of those cherries. Wow. Yeah. I love it. I love a good chocolate cherry combination. Yes. Yeah. Some more of it. Keep laying it as you go along. Yeah. And you have some pistachios here too. It's yep. great. You can put a few more of those cherries and a little bit of that sauce on top. Get some just the sauce. Yeah. And wow. You can do different variations <laughs> on this chocolate cherry. Um, you can do uh, chocolate peanut butter. You right. can do different seasonal things. You know, different fruits. I'm anything. Gonna dive in. I'm gonna yeah. Go okay. To the chocolate. Guy. All right. I'm gonna dive in. While while I have this, tell us about the the restaurant if anybody hasn't been there because I love going to your restaurant. Um, the food is always delicious. Thank you. There, yeah. So Cleo's. We're at 250 Westminster Street in downtown Providence. Mm -hmm. So very convenient. If you're going to a show or doing anything downtown, and we have healthy desserts and. Lauren, this is so good. Oh, thank and the, you. And the, the cherry, the cherries with the pistachio on it too. Yeah. Well, oh the pistachio is nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. so all, yeah. all good I think she's really trying to convince yeah. me that this is <laughs> that's healthy. I'm already in. I'm already. Yeah. I'm already diving in here. Yeah, Greek food is known. The mm. Mediterranean diet, very, wow. you know, very healthy but delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, you and you have so many great things. I know you've cooked like some entrees on our show many a time before. It's nice to see a dessert. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah. We also have baklava, lupomatas, which are Greek donuts. <laughs> he has to physically put it down. I gotta down. put it down. <laughs> I need to step away. I need to step away because it will all be gone mm -hmm. if I don't. Wow, that's delicious. And simple and easy to really put, put this together too as yep. well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very nice. Really I love good. too Thank that you, you can mix and match with the flavor combinations. Yeah. You talked about making this have the chocolate base and maybe if you got kids they just want to eat it as as is. Yeah. But mix whatever sort of fruits and other things that you have going yeah. on. I do the same thing with the baklava at the restaurant or the mm -hmm. lukumadas. We, you know, do different flavor combinations. Yeah. Cookies and cream, anything. This sounds like a good just, one just, though. Just one he more. Picked it up again. Just just one more. <laughs> just one more bite. So it'll be it'll be fine. It'll yeah. be fine. All right. If you want this recipe that is clearly oh. well approved, go to roadshow.com.